Okay, hey guys, this video has been a long time in the making, um, but basically I've decided to start kind of like a very informal vlog, um, not really edited, not really polished, just real honest answers about what it's like to live in a tiny house um, and what it's like to kind of like have this lifestyle. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm planning on having it be like probably weekly, maybe less, um, we'll see. Uh, but definitely add your questions down below if you want them answered and I'm going to try to address all of them in upcoming little segments. Um, yeah, so the thing that I get asked most often is am I going to see a tour? I want to see the whole thing. I want to see it top to bottom. So here's what we're doing. First time out the gate, we are doing a complete tour. So. I'm going to get the camera off the tripod and we are going to see the whole house top to bottom every inch. Here we go. <laughs> This is the view that you guys have probably seen in a video before. Um, it's looking at the stairs up to the loft, um, but we are actually gonna start all the way at the back of the house in the bathroom. I'm just gonna get my tripod out of the way. Here we go. So the bathroom is actually a lot roomier than I thought it was. It's got this lovely gray pocket door that keeps it where it needs to be. And yeah, so we've got this whole space is the shower and there is a clawfoot tub, I know, right? These are the Victorian details that I was like super excited about having. So I have the mirror with some couple pieces of artwork because artwork is just like everywhere in this house. And I've got the lovely sink. Um, they did a lovely like pink finish on it that um, kind of helped extend the pink into this room because uh, we realized it was kind of looking a little white. And then they created a ton of storage for me over here, and it's all above an encasement that has the hot water heater in it. So this is also where I keep the kitchen trash because I like that I can close the door and have like any smell that may emanate from it completely like sealed off. Um, I've also keep the door closed usually just because like the AC, you save a couple square feet that you have to cool off. Um, this is the toilet. It is the separate villa composting toilet. Um, haven't quite hooked it up yet, but I'm, I'm excited for it. <laughs> as excited as you can be for a toilet, but you know, yeah. Um, and I've got, again, some artwork hiding. Mr. Bingley chewed the corner off of this piece, so it ended up in the bathroom. And uh, I've got a window on each side for ventilation because humidity is definitely something you need to worry about in a tiny house. And I keep my cleaning supplies in here as well. Um, there's command strips like everywhere in this house. The whole house is practically held together with them uh, because they never know when I'm gonna have to like rearrange something to fit something else. So I found these super cool ones that hold like brooms and vacuums, my mini vacuum. So over here, we are exiting the bathroom and uh, this is basically the semi-organized art pantry. So most people would use their pantry for food. I use it for art. I think my choice is better. And so I have my art palette and any of the artwork that I don't have like on display in the rest of the house gets kind of tucked back here. Um, and I have all this stuff from Deco Art. Thank you, Deco Art. Deco art. They do sponsor me, so hence why I have so many colors. Um, I also have these cute little containers for like the gouache and oil paints and watercolors and all sorts of stuff. And then I have my tools and my paintbrushes and the ever sliding pile of sketchbooks, which I'm sure every artist can relate to. Um, I also have my art cart. So if I'm making any sort of uh, project over in the kitchen, I can just wheel the whole thing out. Um, yeah, it's about as organized as the rest of this pantry. So directly opposite, we have my entire closet. It's about a foot and a half wide. Um, I only use it for the stuff that like has to hang up because it is so small, but I have two different rods. So there's like a rod down here and then there's a rod up here. So that's kind of makes it twice as long as you think it is because most closets like only have one but it's still, it's pretty small. Um, I've definitely had to downsize my wardrobe a ton to make it work. Um, and then down here, I found this cute little caddy. 
Um, I think it's meant for like bathrooms and stuff, but I've been using it for socks and handkerchiefs and my kickboxing wraps. Um, but it does fit like exactly in this space and it just buys me like that much more uh, nooks and crannies to stash things. So over here, I have the microwave and the fridge. The fridge I covered in like a contact paper so that it was like sort, sort of pink because, I mean, the microwave is in the color scheme. The fridge was black, so we fixed it. And then this is like my entire food pantry. <laughs> Everything that's not in the freezer or the fridge ends up in here. And as you can tell, it's like pretty packed right now. Um, I also, all within these sort of like storage stair space, have the washer and dryer. It's a combo, so you can actually like wash and dry in the same machine. Um, I've used it a few times, but I still do take some of my laundry to the main house just because the washer and dryer is bigger and it'll get things done that much faster. And then I also have another cupboard at the very base of the stairs where I keep my laundry supplies and a couple other things. So. Then I have the kitchen area. Um, I kind of have all these things that just sort of make me smile up on the shelves here. Um, and then I have my Keurig. And in that box is all of my tea. And then underneath here, I put a tray on top so that I would have a little extra storage space. But underneath is two burners. And then I have all of my mug storage up top hanging from pegs instead of um, taking up drawer space, which I found was like a huge space saver to hang this just little peg board. So then I also, as soon as I moved out, I became a crazy plant lady and I have all these plants like on the windowsill. Um, it's kind of like once I moved out, I just had like, they started appearing. I don't know how it happened. Um, so I do have a water filter on the sink so that I can have um, some nice filtered water. I realized it would take up less space than like a Brita or something that I had to store in the fridge. Um, I also started with a Brita and I was having like mold issues. So this one's a lot better. Um, there is my <laughs> dinner dish in case, you, in case you wanted to see. And then um, it's a lovely like basin farmhouse sink. And then I found these little attachments that allow me to like hang um, dish towels from it. Okay, so then over here we have my whole art setup, um, which is basically just like an easel that's sitting up on the counter. And then I have my desk. Pink desk chair is brand new. I just added it and assembled it like two days ago. Um, but yeah, here I have a bunch of shelves that just have kind of like all the things that inspire me, um, from a Jane Austen action figure to a typewriter. Um, and I realized it's just like kind of creating a very inspiring space for when I work on my blogs or when I'm writing, um, anything like that. So over here we have the dress mannequin, but behind that is actually the ladder to the storage loft. And what I did to make, uh, kind of extend the decor is I hung command strips backwards and upside down on this ladder so that I could hang picture frames from them on ribbons. So I have one picture frame for all my moments with Mr. Darcy, and I have one picture frame, of course, behind the mannequin, uh, with all my moments with Mr. Bing. And of course, more plants. <laughs> there are plants everywhere in this house. So what I did to save a little bit of room is I stacked up all my favorite books and then kind of like put picture frames on them to create like different levels and a lot of like visual interest. Um, but it also saved me just enough room that all of my books fit between this stack and the bookcase. Um, this is the pink couch that everyone has told me they love. And I actually designed <laughs> the house to fit this couch. Um, I made sure that it was wide enough so that like I could fit this couch exactly. And it was a tight squeeze, but it fit. Um, I ordered this off of, I think, something called Hay Needle, um, but it was also available on like Walmart.com and that sort of thing. It's the Novogratz, Novo, Novo Grates. <laughs> I'm, I'm butchering it, but it is the Novogratz vintage inspired uh, futon. So it actually does fold down. If I ever had company, I could fold it down flat and they could sleep here. Um, I put it up on just some like short risers and then I have two slide outs for extra storage there. 
Uh, <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Bingley's favorite place in the whole house. He has a little blanket up here so that he's not cold. Um, and he just sort of like chills and hangs out. And he's surrounded by more artwork and a couple of my favorite things. So over here, I have, of course, <laughs> more art supplies. I have, this is where I filmed the cuckoo clock video that will be coming out later. And then I have this very tall dresser um, that I filled with all of like the clothes that would fold. So anything that would fold end up here. And then because I'm always a sucker for more storage, I have the trash can down below, but then I also have um, some hanging file organizer thing, some cubbies, um, where I can put like books and stuff. So this is one of the projects that I think is really cool. It's the front door. Um, I realized like I didn't really want to put up like old lady curtains. So what I did instead is it's just Tim Holtz tissue paper and starch. So I starched the entire thing and then just stuck it up there. And then once it dries, it actually stays pretty well. It's been up there for more than six months and I haven't noticed like any peeling or anything like that. Um, but it's kind of like a instant privacy curtain. And we've got all our little dog bowls and everything. And I have my shoes fit into the storage loft like almost perfectly. Like I literally cannot order another pair of shoes until one of them wears out. And then I have all these pink storage bins going up that have all of my like dog supplies and that sort of thing. Um, even my chalkboard has a couple of cubbies where I can fit things. And of course the watering can because I'm officially a crazy plant lady. Uh, so, okay, we are gonna go up to the loft bedroom. <laughs> I have never tried to do this while carrying a camera, so bear with me. Here we go. So, before we get there, there is uh, the coolness of, there was a slight ridge, like a, like a lip almost, um, at the edge of the bookcase that separates me from the loft. And I decided to put actually a bunch of like pictures here. So it's ended up becoming like a a picture shelf. Um, I also have a couple of them hanging on or sitting on the the lip for the what is that called? The range cover? Something like that. And then up here I of course have the AC which is essential in Southern California because we're kind of wimpy. So here is the storage, the sleeping loft, sorry. Um, and don't judge because I never make the bed, so this is like the closest it ever gets made. Um, I have a little basket full of dog toys and this rug, which the dogs kind of like to cuddle up in. So I put down a rug just because I realized that it gets kind of cold up here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> um, otherwise it would be that like gray wood flooring that's in the rest of the house. So I have more storage here and then I also have the entire bookcase full of books and a few little tchotchkes here and there. Um, yeah, so this is actually one of my favorite parts of the entire house. It is an antique carriage lamp um, from probably the late 1800s if I had to guess. Um, it actually would have been on the outside of a horse carriage. <laughs> um, and I actually, I polished it up, um, got the schmutz off, um, and it's being held up by an adapted wine bottle holder. <laughs> Who knew that they sold that at Hobby Lobby? It took me a while to find it. Um, and then it just actually covers the bulb um, that sticks out from the wall. So, here's kind of the view when I first wake up in the morning. Um, I have some additional storage on the wall over here that's just like scarves and stuff hanging from command strips. And gosh, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that was 100% of the house. That's everything that I see every day and I live in. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is everything. <laughs> It is eight foot wide uh, and 24 feet long, and it is 13 feet high. So you can do the math on how many square, foot, square feet that I'm living in. Um, 
but I love it and I hope you will join us next time. I'm going to be talking about everything from like the composting toilet to how I managed to fit an entire wardrobe in here. Thank you!